Sylvester Powerkip is your ride in the sprint on, on Wednesday night. Um, he's holding his form well, this horse, and last time out certainly did a, a good job in the circumstances. He has, yeah, you know, he's a horse, he's in form, and, uh, you know, and he done everything right, and he has, you know, so, no, he, he, he's a nice horse going forward, you know. Uh, talk to me about the, the start with him, Sylvester, because last time out, he, he obviously, he certainly got himself on the back foot, but he, he did a good job late. Yeah, he did, yeah, you know, he's, he's a horse, he's, he's finished his strong, got a strong finish, so... Whatever position you can put him, if you get a bit of breathing to him, he will finish him off, finish him uh, off well. Is that just a trait with him? I mean, he's done it on a couple of occasions, hasn't he? He, he has got that tendency just to jump a little bit slow. Yeah, sometimes he does, but, uh, you know, probably just have to help him out a little bit from the gates. And, uh, you know, this time we've got a good barrier gate and, uh, you know, and I'm happy with the trip. And uh, I just hope things can go in his way. Last time things didn't play out for him, you know, he's... Uh, you know, he just play out the gates and he miss a beep and uh, I have to play catch up, but he finish him off strong, you know. He's seemingly quite a versatile horse. You've ridden him at both tracks. Do you feel that a thousand metres at Happy Valley is going to suit a horse like him? And I think so. He's, uh, you know, he, he won over there, like of 1200. So, and uh, no, I'm happy with the trip. And he run a good shot in, finish a good second. We had another good horse. And uh, no, I just think if it is going his way and uh, he should be a big player. We know barriers are always crucial at Happy Valley. You're in gate number two. Is that a help or a hindrance, or are you happy where you are? If 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 he hit the beep well, I think it's a great gate. Antoine, Happy Fat Cat is one of your rides on Wednesday night. Um, you've ridden a few quick horses out of the barriers uh, at Happy Valley, but I don't think you've ridden many as quick away as this guy. He was very quick away, and uh, and he won the race well. Yes, exactly. A uh, very nice horse, consistent. And uh, we get a good draw this Wednesday, so I'm happy with him. We'll try to repeat the same performance as last time. And uh, how important was it last time, Antoine? Obviously, he is a horse that likes to race on the pace. The fact that you can sort of nick that sort of length, half a length at the start, I imagine it must be crucial for a horse like him. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's nice to ride a horse kind of horse like this. Uh, you need to be in, he's in home pace. And uh, if the horse performs well like this, I think he can be competitive again. He's got an extra seven pounds to carry. Naturally, for, for his consistency, he's going to keep going up. Um, how much more do you feel he's got to offer? Uh, it's hard to say. Uh, I hope it's not too much. And uh, the other thing is uh, another horse go forward in this race, so I hope we not fight each other to, to kill each other. Uh, I really need to be in front and relax for, for big performance. And barrier five, you're, you're happy being drawn there? Yes, yes, I'm happy with the draw. Uh, I don't need a very good good draw, but just before six is, is good enough to, to start well and be, take the lead. Uh, the day he did win last time, and that provided um, the first leg of a double for you. Obviously, great start to the season, as well, great start to the year as well. Yeah, exactly. Great start of the year. Very happy about that. I will keep rolling on that. And uh, yeah, like I say, I just need the support. And when you get the support with the horse, easy to win. Karis, perfect to great. It was a horse that you won on last time out. It was a good, solid win in the end. He, he ran on really well. Yeah, Nick, uh, it was a good win last time. Uh, Kasper was very confident that you know the horse will, will, will go very well because he's a uh, few times before he's been running well, but hasn't, things hasn't gone his way. So he just ride him very positively and you know, gave him a clear run in a straight. And I must say, for an old fella to let down like that was, was, uh, was, was impressive. So it was a pretty impressive win. A little bit awkward away from the gates, um, but I guess with that he was able to, to travel well and, and then, as you say, finish off nicely. Yeah, he, he's always a bit uh, slow at those gates. Uh, he, he's not a horse that with natural speed to put himself in the pace. But you know what? Uh, that's his style, and I think he, he he'll get himself back again, and then he'll he'll run home more strongly. You might just have your work cut out because that's his first win in uh, I think 30 starts here in Hong Kong. Do you, do you think he's the type of horse that now he's got his head in front? He might just sort of enjoy trying to do it again. Well, I think he's in a good state of mind at the moment. The horse, he's feeling good about himself. Uh, I guess perhaps the horse going well. So. Usually, you know, when they when they win like that, they get that uh, the confidence back again, and they can hit uh, two two or three wins in a row. So you would not be surprised if he get, do it again. A bit more weight to carry, but I guess it does look an open race on paper with a bit of speed. Yeah, sure. You know, at, uh, like I said, uh, I'm, I'm pretty confident. The way the way he quickened up last time, I'm just gonna you know give him a similar run, and uh, let's hope he can uh, he can quicken up the same. Frankie Law, the January Cup is the feature race at Happy Valley this Wednesday. You've got three runners in the contest. Um, let's start with Money Catcher. Now, that run in the Hong Kong Cup was very much out of the box. Um, how has he been since then? He's still good form. Uh, he always very consistent, so I just put him uh, this uh, race, yeah. And since that race, Frankie, was this always the target to, to bring him back to Happy Valley? 
Uh, I think for me, uh, Happy Valley Shaten still still uh, went good this horse, yeah. Um, he's had a couple of runs around here. He's been placed on both occasions. Do you, do you feel he's the type of horse that does handle the, the tighter track? Yeah, yeah, no problem. He was uh, before. Uh, I think he should be okay. He clearly is a bit of a class act. And do you feel now that he's he's just coming to hand, having you know sort of been a little bit frustrating to start with? <laughs> I think after he he win the race and uh, he looks uh, for me he looks a little bit better. Uh, I think maybe sometimes maybe when you get the first winner, maybe he will he will know what to do. <laughs> You've got a couple of other runners in the race as well. Celestial Power is, is the other. Um, what about him? I mean, he's a horse who, who sort of, on his day, is, is a handy type. But what, what do you make of his chance in this race? Uh, last time, he went a little bit disappointed. Maybe I think this horse, maybe uh, 1800 should be better. So I just put him this race. Uh, you've also got looking great in the contest as well. He was, um, he was a decent enough winner last time. That was 2200 metres. You bring him back in trip this time. Yeah. Uh, I think first... first uh, Start this season 1600, and then uh, last time he 2002. I think for for him does, doesn't uh, have any problem. Yeah. How hard a job was it, Frankie, to get jockeys? I mean, quite a few of these horses right down at the bottom of the weights. You've got Alex Lai riding this fellow for you as well. Yeah, yeah. As you know, difficult to find the jockeys. Uh, and Alex Lai, he's he's a local boy. Uh, I want to give him some chance. Yeah. Nice to have three good chances in it. Money catcher would be the the pick of them in your mind. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Sylvester Encountered is your ride in race eight coming up on, on Wednesday night. Um, he couldn't have been more impressive last time with those blinkers on first time. Yeah, you know, the blinkers first time out worked really well on him. And, uh, you know, that day we have a kind gate and uh, we was right in the middle and uh, I was very flexible to go forward or take him back. And this time we in the outside, but uh, to me, he's a horse. He got a little bit of speed and uh, I just I hope the race can be a good speed the whole race and then I can put him in some position I can win the race you know. You trialled him before winning uh, last start was that fully expected for him to, to do it in the manner in which he did? Uh, well obviously the way he was I thought he would have a great chance you know and uh, so on Manfred and uh, but uh, you know he he proved he was better than what he gave me a feeling. You know? uh, talking of the feel he gave you um, have you had a chance to sit on him since? Yes, and the horse is in good form, and he's very kind in the mornings. You only do what you ask him to do. But uh, no, and like you said, the gate doesn't help, but uh, he's a horse he's in good form, you know. You and Manfred Mann have got a, a really good thing going. I think the strike rate around about 27% or thereabouts, so always nice to get on his horses. Yeah, I'm very pleased, you know. Uh, uh, he, he been put me up and he give me a support and obviously we can't get right always but uh, you know sometimes when going in our hands and uh, we can play the right way we win races. Uh, just finally Celeste, I mean obviously there's plenty of hype around the four-year-old series upcoming now this guy is a four-year-old he's, yeah. he's off a mark in the 70s I mean should he win on, on Wednesday night that's going to take his mark up do you, do you think he's a horse that sort of you know might be sneaking into a, a sort of a position to contend for, for races like that? Yes obviously you know if he have to go any further than the trip he's been running, I think we have to leave the headgear off, you know. But uh, we just thought last time he was saving a little bit for himself, Menfrog thought, and that's why he put the headgear on and work out very well. So, But uh, sometimes horses face very well first time, and at the second time they relax a bit more. So if he does that, he could get a bit further with the headgear, or you have to take him off and try something else. But uh, I'm pleased with the trip he runs, you know.